<laughs> never mind me. I've just been watching fidgetal fighting games for the last few days. I learned a couple of tricks, titled my physique, so with you as always me, Paul, your reliable guide to the world of fidgetal. Today I will continue to introduce you to the challenges of the games of the future. And next in line is the sports challenge, where the main disciplines are real mixed martial arts, aka MMA, and Mortal Kombat. I promise that today there will be a lot of low kicks, combos, and of course, fatalities. Let's go! Motivates, right? Fighting is one of the toughest and most spectacular disciplines in digital. Real titans fight in the rings, where without sparing themselves and the enemy, they snatch the necessary points. As you can understand, it comes down to the blood. Many people love MMA because this type of martial arts has a lot of freedom and action during the fight. Mixed martial arts include elements from many fighting schools, Thai boxing, classical boxing, taekwondo, sambo, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and many, many others. The most eminent fighters are real stars in the world of sports. If we talk about the virtual part of digital fighting games, then the choice in favor of Mortal Kombat is also understandable and logical. There are probably no boys or husbands on the planet who have never played or heard about films and games with a technical Liu Kang fights against Sub-Zero or Raiden. But this is all on the surface. True fans of the series know that the Mortal Kombat universe is rich and vast. It includes series, comics, art collections, entire shows and productions. What we're talking about is when the first game was just being developed back in 1991, the creators planned to make the famous Van Damme, the action hero of the 90s, the face of the brand. But something went wrong, and the idea was abandoned. But let's not go into the jungle. Let's figure out how MMA and Mortal Kombat work in conjunction with digital. In digital fighting, a sportsman plays in Mortal Kombat first and then moves to the MMA octagon. Six or eight teams consisting of two people in the 73 kilograms weight category will participate in the digital games. The final score of the digital part of the match becomes the starting one for the physical fight. The digital part lasts up to five victories out of nine rounds. Each victory in digital round will cost up one point. Up next, fighters come to the octagon to pursue the duel there. It takes three rounds that are three minutes long to determine the winner. Points in the physical part are awarded based on the following scheme. Win by knockout, six points. Victory by decision of the judges, three points. Draw, one point each. The crowd can impact the fight score. Additional points will be awarded to the athletes the crowd will vote for. There are three eliminations. Best knockout, best fighter and for creativity. In case if the score is even after all the counts are made, additional indicators are taken into account in descending order of significance. A. The best head-to-head -head starts. B. Amount of knockouts. C. Amount of wins in round in Mortal Kombat. D. Overall lower body weight. If the winner cannot be determined based on additional indicators, then a shortened match in Mortal Kombat is held. As you can see, it is super spectacular and interesting not only in the stance, but also from the monitors. Let's go! Don't forget that martial arts is a team tournament. Each team has two athletes. Fighters from six countries took part in the last two digital games, where fighting was the same discipline. Russia, Belarus, Brazil, Iran, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. Who are these well-done fighters who were the first to respond to try themselves in the digital challenge? I have something to tell you. The elites and the champions have gathered in one place. Among the players, there are multiple winners of national championships in MMA, wrestling legends, two-time Asian champions in Jack P. Jack, and what really, 
there was even a place for Kratos and the bear. Let's get to know all of them better. Russia will be represented by three duos. One of them is an experienced tandem, Brave Heart, consisting of South Federal District kickboxing champion Roman Black Lion Avdal and master of sport in combat sambo and grappling Valery Braveheart Grishutin. MK team is made up two brothers, Anzor Abjamov and Habib Magomedov from the Republic of Dagestan. Freestyle wrestling, boxing, grappling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu – all these techniques are available in their arsenal so they don't fear any new trial. The Kazan duo of Rim Kazikmetov and Fyodor Alexeyev, nicknamed the Russian Bear, united into a Lions team. Rim is a master of sport in combat sambo and Fyodor is Eurasian champion in jiu-jitsu. Modest Kazakhs, motivated Belarusians and Iranians headed by Kratos, our next participants. Sirik Baika Jabayev and Alibek Ali Koja Kuzbayev from Caspian Megalodon's team represent Kazakhstan. Alibek believes that their team is special for its modesty, but they won't be shy in the Octagon for sure. Sirik Bai is a master of sport of international class in Jack P. Jack, champion of Kazakhstan and two-time champion of Asia in this discipline, as well as seven-time MMA champion of Kazakhstan. Ali Bek is a rugged guy, who is in his own words at a certain moment of his life decided to leave street fights and try his hands on the professional stage. Artyom Swan Lebedev and Valery Dashkevich represent the best MMA academy in Belarus, so they don't doubt their power. Artyom used to be a machine operator at a plant, but made his choice in favor of sports career. That's why his dream now is to become a good children's coach and bring up a champion. Valery has always thought that fighting was his path. He has an impressive record of participating in tournaments at different levels. Another pair of foreign participants is the team from Iran. This duo's second Erfan is very flamboyant man. The spitting image of Kratos, the main character of the game God of War. In all fairness, his fighters are also prominent. Two-time MMA Iranian champion Matin Jabar Safari and Mohamed Reza dragon warrior Mahadasi, who is only starting his professional career. He is 184 cm tall and he's already an Iranian wrestling champion. Now that we know all the names of the fighters, let's take a closer look at them and get to know our champions better. At one of the tournaments, we had a good opportunity to talk, and we took advantage of it. Participants were given joking questions to answer. You will find out what does a kappa taste like, what is more painful for a fighter, to miss a blow or putting with a girl? What came of it? Let's see. I like the cartoons? No, not exactly. Stars? Yeah. No, not stars. Yeah, it happens often. Especially when your head gets stick up in the ring. No, never. Yeah, of course, many times. Yeah, sure. <laughs> After knockout. <laughs> no. <laughs> miss shot. <laughs> miss shot. <laughs> uh, I think miss shot. <laughs> Breaking up with a girl. Miss shot, girls never left me. No, girls never left me. When the girl left you, when the girl left you, you don't pay attention to it when you wear it, when you get used to it. It's rubber, I, I don't know, no taste at all. It depends on which one you buy. There are with the fruit taste. Taste of blood when your lip, when your chin gets destroyed, uh, with the taste of saliva and salt. As I said earlier, there are two digital stops at the moment, where fighting games have been held. The first tournament died down in November 26. The fighters were hosted by the Akbar's Martial Arts Palace in Kazan. By the way, it's no secret for fighting game fans that the most famous organization among the organizers of MMA fights, which are also called promotion, is the American UFC. It was the promotion that arranged the very fight between Habib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor which ended in a brawl and almost escalated into a mass brawl between fans, cornermen, coaches, and the list goes on. Who knows, perhaps very soon the championship will be for Fidgetal and Connor will perform at the venue of Kazan. Can you imagine this? And now let's move on to the results of past tournaments. On November 26, the Fidgetal Games first saw a new format MMA competition. The gaming theme was not only represented by the digital part of Mortal Kombat fights and the flamboyant Iranian team leader. Broadcasting was accompanied by the graphics reminding computer game stats, a red and blue scale, 
moving towards this or that athlete, having an advantage and strikes during the fight. I have chosen for you the most interesting fights and will talk about them. The draw headed that the new format combat sports night would be opened by Artyom Swon Lebedev from Belarus fighting against Iran's Mohamed Reza, Dragon Warrior Mahadasi. It should be said that they had a close fight, with the Belarusian taking the lead 5-3. Meanwhile, it was Iranians' turn to dominate in the octagon with a 3-0 score. The advantage on strikes was 36-25, to with 100% control on the ground. By the way, after the fight, Mahadasi said that he was exhausted and wanted to sleep, so he didn't even have the energy to comment on anything. Probably the flight delay had its toll on him. Further on, the public welcomed a local fighter Fyodor Russian bear Alexeyev, Challenging him was a Dagestani athlete Habib Magomedov. The fight ended with a devastating score of 11-2 and an undisputed advantage of the athlete from Buinansk, both in Mortal Kombat and in the Octagon. This is what the fighter from Kazan wrote in the social media account. I wanted to slack him standing, but I ended up wrestling. I would say I was inferior to him. It's just that I made an error and let him make a heel hook. Statistics does show that Fedor had more intensity in the blows, but what matters here is the focus and the timing. Habib caught his rival out and used a submission hold to document his victory. The fifth bout of competition session became the most breathtaking one by intensity of emotions. Firstly, the judges gave an inside the distance victory to Roman Avdal, 6 to 5. But then, Matin Safari's corner launched an appeal seeing the ref's mistake an illegal move, so the face-to-face -face match results were withdrawn. This way, the Iranian won as he swept his antagonist in Mortal Kombat to set the final score of the match. Who is the winner, you ask? It's not all that simple, as it's a team tournament, which means the points scored by both fighters of one team are summed up. This way, the winning three stand as follows. A flawless victory with a clear advantage of MK team from Dagestan, followed by silver for Iranians and the third place shared on points by Belarusians and Braveheart team. However, the organizers had it written in the rules initially that the fans might influence the final score. And that's exactly what happened. The audience voted and chose the best ones in three nominations. Best fighter, most creative fighter and best kid. Oh, this is where Kazan spectators came into play. Everybody decided to support the fighters and gave them victories in two categories at once. The Gistan Samke team was out of reach already, but thanks to the audience votes, the second place went to Braveheart and the third to Alliance from Kazan. The Iranians were left with a wooden medal. The second tournament in digital martial arts, which took place in June, ended with the confrontation between Valery Dashkevich from Belarus and Farshid Galami from Iran in the virtual ring, an athlete from Belarus, thanks to his experience and high-speed attacks, defeated his opponent 5-0. In the first round of Octagon, Valeria knocked out an Iranian fighter in 30 seconds and won the fight with a score of 11-0. The winner of the team standing is determined by the sum of points scored by the fighters from one team, and two more points are awarded based on the results of the audience voting in the best finish nomination. The Russian team Kuzhnya with Yak of Yekimov and Vladislav Sukalenka, who scored 21 points in the octagon and two points were given to the team by the audience, became the champion of the seventh digital game, which allowed them to become leaders in the overall standing with 23 points. The silver medalists were MMA Academy from Belarus, Jan Saskavets and Valery Dashkevich, 21 points. And the top three winners were closed by the Brazilian's team Gore MMA. We started with a workout and we will finish with a workout. Well, I hope you also drew conclusion after today's episode and thought a little about how to spend your time. Personally, I'm right in the middle. You can warm up a little with a peer and then invite your friends and play a couple of matches on console or better in Dota or CSGO. Still, that's just my opinion. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to learn more about Fidgetal, for example, about hockey. I talked about it in the last episode. If you're interested in other challenges, Look in the news playlist. Have good games and high FPS. By the way, the games of the future are less than 180 days away. My name is Paul. See you around. Bye-bye.